Okay guys, welcome back. I am gonna be doing Skyrim like I said over on Twitter. I did the whole set up a poll let you guys vote on what today's video is. And I am gonna hold up to my word on that. But it's not gonna be an entire like playthrough sort of ordeal. I'm just gonna show you a few things that I personally have loved over the years playing Skyrim and the modding community once when I got get these guys killed. I am using cheats for the reason it's been quite, 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 quite annoying trying to get shit done. I've also had slight problem with my computer. It's not been really fully want to run 100% for me, so I've been having Troubles on that and trying to get all this to work. So, just give him one second, let me just kill him, and I'm gonna show you one of my favorite mods of them all that I have found in Skyrim. I actually have two that probably will top number one. So, first, just kill this. Fuck did he go? Just fucking saw him. Fuck, fuck did he go? Oh, there he is. Bye bye. Okay. So. First mod that I have always loved when playing Skyrim that's silver is First mod that I've always seemed to love that whenever I download Skyrim and people ask me for mods is, is I don't even remember half the names of these, so I am really, really sorry. It is a skill, well, it kind of changes around all the skills, and it makes it a lot different. It makes skill trees a little more in depth when you end up using it, and you say go to light weaponry, it's one handed, you get one handed, and then you can go to unarmed, attacking, blades, and then strong grip, and you can specify more on your style and playthrough, it even works along with even heavy armor, and then smithing, you can pretty much this entire thing for the skill tree rechanges around the skill tree because the skill tree in the vanilla game is very very basic and I like it this one after playing around I have loved it even more so if I can find all the mods links if I can remember all the names of them I will end up putting them down in the description and then the second one I will get to in a moment when you're gonna do that. Guys, I'm having slight problems with my game. Okay. Okay, next mod. As I said before, I realize there's actually one more along with it that can arguably be the best mod that you can get for Skyrim if you don't like vanilla experience. And this has to be the Open Cities mod, which pretty much is exactly what it sounds like. This mod takes every major city, and with the recent updates, few houses, and even some modded houses. And it gives you the option, instead of having a loading screen and walking into a city, oh, you're going to give me a loading screen. I think may have forgotten to install this one or I turned it off but 
I pretty much the open cities mod. What's supposed to do is literally just. Oh, I remember what happened. My computer was crashing on White Run, and I forgot I wanted to do a White Run Civil War, and it messes up. It's not compatible with Civil War mod, but what it does it pretty much opens the city gates, and you can just walk right in freely. And that's what the open city mods does. Sorry, I couldn't show you it. Forgot about it. Stupid. Actually looking right where it's supposed to be, and it's deactivated. How did I forget to do reactivate it? Um, third mod that I consider is one that you must need. Is it's called alternate start. Pretty much what it does it changes the way the game starts. And a lot of people do understand this. If you install it, you do have the option to still have the vanilla start. I've actually never done it, but it offers you of different beginning options like joining a guild right away per se if you want to do automatically thieves guild right away you can do the thieves guild start right off skip the like having to go to people bribe them do whatever it gives you an option of being like stranded and left for dead joining the army right away just being a patron in the inn and you still have the option Another one, which personally I've never done, is I have it installed. It's not being the Dragonborn, which I don't fully know how it works. So I don't know how well it works. If it's like a good idea, one day I'll actually install, play it, and then maybe do a review comments if you like to see a review. Okay, moving on to the next mod, and that I feel is, this one isn't more necessary, it just, what I think I've always had fun with was the unlimited followers mod, aka UFO, and this allows you to have exactly what it says, have unlimited followers follow you around. As you can see, this is why I wasn't really able to do too much. My game is lagging. I run mods, yes, but at the same time, I have to run specific ones. Otherwise, it like just completely crashes. The next mod is going to be an armor mod, but I have to quickly set it up. So. Okay. So, disclaimer, this armor is not really the best armor. Like, if you tried making this and going out into battle, you will fucking die. But, I don't know why, when I saw this, I liked it due to the fact that it was really well detailed. This is not the full armor, you have so many customization options. It's called the uh, Metro Assassin Armor UN, UNP CBB. It does require a body mod. This is on a custom class, custom race, I mean. So it's a lot different than if it would be on the vanilla. And that is the armor that I want to show you. And the very, very last mod that I would want to show you is called the New Beginning Mod. It starts off right at the beginning, or if you start a game already ends up doing. What it does, it creates the beginning more like Oblivion. You get to choose more classes instead of having everything flat up at 15. You can choose some stuff and have boosts and everything. You can choose your standing stone right at the beginning. And I'll just show you what I mean. You can choose your race, you can choose your standing stone, I usually end up doing shadow, this is very useful, 
can choose your classes or you can be like custom class choose where you want to have a plus five and plus faster where you gain it and you can choose get a bonus plus 20 and you can choose where you get another 20 and increase 20 percent faster and it just makes character customization a lot more in depth right at the beginning instead of just the base vanilla crap and whatever so those are the mods I wanted to show you guys sorry I didn't fully play it I don't have 100% time to do it today I have a few other plans so everybody thank you for watching please like comment subscribe and understand the last tweet I tweeted out after the um, poll I was saying that if we get that tweet to 20 retweets I will start doing day weekly not daily daily will be fucking forever I will do once a week probably post a Wednesday night and then Wednesday morning or I'll do Wednesday morning like at noon and then I'll check again at like 10 a.m. and then decide what game to do whichever you guys choose I really like the idea is help you guys be active on the channel you guys get to feel like you're interactive and stuff so thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe share this and I shall see you guys tomorrow peace